Welcome to News 3. I'm Pari Cruz. Topping our headlines, three people shot tonight in Chesapeake. Two of them are minors. It happened around 8.30 on Schooner Trail off of Airline Boulevard. Police did not release the ages of the victims, only describing them as juveniles. The third victim is a man. We're told they're all stable at the hospital. There's no information on a suspect or motive at this time. And Newport News Police investigating a double shooting on Manor Road in the Denby area of the city. Police say the two victims were found at the intersection of Warwick Boulevard and Lucas Creek Road. Police say one of the victims is in serious condition and the other is expected to survive. We're working to get more information about the circumstances of that shooting. And new information about a shooting and a crash in Norfolk. Police say the man who was shot, 21-year-old Deonta Flythe Jr., has died. He was shot Friday morning on Shelton Avenue. Investigators say he tried to drive away but crashed on 35th Street. At this hour, no word yet on a suspect or a motive. If you know anything about any of these shootings, you're asked to call the crime line at one lock you up now let's get a check of the weather with Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky. And Patrick, it's shaping up to be a pretty good weekend out there. Yeah, we deserve it. Uh, this has been kind of a wild weather week. Some of us were scraping frost uh, a couple of days ago. No frost tomorrow morning. Most of us will wake up to temperatures in the lower 50s. Some inland spots may be in the upper 40s. But I tell you what, we're going to warm up pretty quickly. And as we head into the afternoon, we're climbing into the mid, some of us even into the upper 70s. So it's nice warm weather for tomorrow. Gets even warmer as we take you into Sunday. High temperature of around 83 degrees. Virtually no chance for rain either day this weekend. Even warmer as we head back to work on Monday, a high of around 85 degrees. And I think most of the daytime hours on Tuesday will be dry. It says we get to late in the afternoon and evening hours. We'll have a chance for showers and thunderstorms along a cold front. Behind that cold front back to the 60s for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of next week.